All right, we are off to TD Place. What the sky right now is, whoo, looking iffy, looking iffy. Oh, it's okay over here, some clouds, but then, bam, whoo. It's gonna be a wet football game tonight, boy. Here it is, TD Place. As you can see before game time, it is hopping down here at TD Place. I gotta give credit to Ottawa, this city, has come up for the Red Blacks and shown once again their football market. And they're all around, places hopping, restaurants are packed. It's an arena district around TD Place, Ottawa. This is cool. Just like that, Edmonton takes the lead on Getzlav's first touchdown of the year. That made it 27 to 20 in favor of Edmonton. As you just saw, they put this baby to bed. They were 7 and 0. By far, Edmonton is the best team in the CFL, battling once again through injuries and finding a way to win. Seven and O. Oh. Can you believe it? Did you watch the game yesterday? Hey, I'm talking to you, buddy. Did you watch the game now? Jeez. Some people, being top dog in the West is where this team wanted to be for. Do you mind? And that offense was rolling early. A 92 yard scoring drive on the first drive of the game for Edmonton. Riley goes out over 300 yards passing, two touchdowns, and yes, two interceptions, but number 13 made up for it in big ways. And his receiving core, Brian Mitchell, Kenny Stafford, Vidal Hazelton, Larry's Perkins out of the backfield. Huge guys with their hands against Ottawa last night. I've been saying it, they've been saying it. Next man up, Someone goes down, someone comes in, and has a massive game for Edmonton. But losing Marcus Howard and Armando Sewell? Oh boy, for what could be long-term injuries on the D-line, you need the pressure to get to the quarterback. Edmonton's done that for so well. And losing two of those key guys? Not good, no matter if you're 7-0. Next week is Winnipeg. That's it! Back to Winnipeg! Mike O'Shea's team can't be taken lightly. But I must say this, 7-0 for the first time since 1961. You know how wild that is? Do you know what wasn't in the world in 1961? Do you know what wasn't here yet? Uh, well, me for starters. Wow! I saw color TV. Do they find a way to keep on pushing through in with these losses? You'll see Edmonton back in Ottawa in November. Anyway, I'm boarding now for my flight. I can't miss this, but it'll leave me behind here in Ottawa. My name is Avery and I am gone. Talk to you folks later. As always, like, subscribe, and comment to the Avery Sports Show YouTube channel below.